So what do we have here then? Four uploads in a week and a half. I mean, getting pretty good at this if I don't say so myself. But anyway, this video, it's a special one. Not only do you get to see absolutely incredible top class gameplay, 40-0, you'll also get all my thoughts on the Paris Regionals, how that went down. Also, what you're about to see was actually the first ever weekend qualifying for the FIFA Interactive World Cup, which is the biggest FIFA tournament to date by an absolute mile. Not only does it crown the world champion for the year, I think the winner gets like $200,000, so, you know, we're hitting the business end of the year. And well, I'm going to be rambling on for about 90% of this video, so we're just going to get straight into it. I'm getting quite used to wearing scarves on videos. Should it work like that? A bit more elegant. Definitely not. Okay, so first opponent here. And Bolo, bit scary, but apart from that, it's pretty standard. The problem is with these types of videos, what I'm about to do now, like the foot champions highlights, it's striking that balance between entertainment and like trying to help people understand how to get better at the game. Like, don't get me wrong, it's a great problem to have. Not many FIFA YouTubers are able to hit like 39 or 40 wins per week, if ever. And like this video for me in particular, it's a rare occasion in which you already know what I end up on. Not really a fan of doing it this way is I like to keep you second guessing like whether I've won or lost a game and keep the tension building, but yeah. Hopefully some of you just want to see me annihilate 40 people. It's just like, some people are going to be subbed to solely get better at FIFA and want to see one of the best players in the world just hammer people. Some people just want to be entertained, which I completely understand. Then, of course, there's the absolute heroes who are just basically subbed to me, so... Shout out to them. But yeah, this is um, going to be neither really. Again, not my type of video, but basically, as you may have seen, Gorilla, Tass and a few of other pros have done their Paris recaps and just spoke about how the tournament went for them really and how it could be improved. So I'll be doing that, but instead of just like talking to the camera, I've just mixed it in with the first World Cup qualifier, so quite lucky I got 40 really. Could have really done two different videos, but effort in it. So Paris, I disgracefully had like a 7am flight, so I had to wake up at some illegal time. I quickly filmed my custom tactics video, I'll put a link in the description. Then off I went. Standard procedure, bounced off the security, nodded at the biggest security guard, went through, amazingly no bleep, but then disaster strikes. So basically, my bag's like on its way under that thing and starts bleeping its head off. So this glove wearing maniac sprints in, starts brushing against all my tablets, and like, mate, if I was gonna bring some drugs, I'd plug him, you know what I mean? I did not plug drugs, by the way. Should probably edit that out. So after the mayhem, went through, got a cheeky meal deal, tactical boiled sweets to stop the ears from popping then, yes, made my way to the flight with Painter, another player who was competing, and Bullock, aka Chris from the Game Academy, but yeah, we'll get onto him in a minute. So yeah, we arrived in France, this girl who was meant to meet us there to get on the minibus was basically just not there, she kept ringing me, I'd speak, she'd answer, reply and put it down, I mean, must not dig the Wigan accent. No idea why. So then I had to ring Seb, to ring her, to ring me, to then ring back. Then when I was ringing back, a phone had been switched off. I mean, I was absolutely convinced she had dumped the sim and done a runner or something. Anyway, after those 30 minutes of utter chaos and her adamant she was in yellow, I then found her to be dressed all in black with the smallest EA picture physically possible. Not gonna lie, nearly offered her a straightener. So yeah, we got to the hotel. There was a player briefing with some terrible food on offer, too posh for my liking, but, you know, I have to get on with it. But the point of this briefing was to, like, get all the players together, tell the do's and don'ts, get a controller check, etc. And then the interesting part of this was the live group draw. In my opinion, they should have seeded it, but that's for another discussion. Oh, this match, I mean, I felt that sorry for him. I was even trying to let him score and he couldn't. Now, this one was, like, take five, by the way and eventually Begovic buries it. Honestly, I mean, I don't know why people just don't quit, especially when you've got like 40 games to play, surely you've got to do something better with your time. But yeah, Begovic keeps fighting on as he goes on one of his trademark runs, but De Gea, he's had it up to here with Begovic now and shows him what's what. Yeah, so anyway, the draw. Now, 
Even before the draw, I had one problem that I openly spoke and spoke about with this format. And that was, well, for one, saying me and Tass or the two PSG players got put in the same group. Let's put it this way. If they need a win to qualify, and you've already gone out or already qualified, which could easily, easily happen in a four-team group with draws allowed, you're not going to try your best to beat them, are you? I mean, that's just how it is. But I mean, even ignoring that fact, it's just a really bad format. Three games in a group of four, there's more than likely going to be a scenario where two players will take a draw. And in my opinion, you avoid this if either the groups are bigger or you play each other twice. But yeah, the groups were drawn. I did avoid TAS and the PSG players avoided each other. So that was good. There was one group which stood out and that was Gorilla, Aggie and Rocky in the same group. The group of death, some would say, which was then ended with Bullock, who wasn't given a chance. I know some of you may say you expected me to be in a group of death, but the harsh reality is no pro expected me to even like qualify for an event at the start of the year. And this is a tournament like full of pro players who've been playing at events for years. I haven't even really been playing FIFA for a year, so you can understand the gap. Don't get me wrong though, since I won the Spencer FC Game Academy, I did take it to a new level and probably am now one of the best in the world. I have rambled on far too much here. We've not even got to the event and the video's nearly done. So yeah, we did all our media things like pictures, interviews, etc, which I really enjoyed. I think some of the players were like, there was a bit uncomfortable with it, but I really enjoyed things like that and I'm sure everyone will get better. So we get to the event, which is brilliantly set up, I must say. My group and three others were set to go on straight away with like no practice at all, which was a slight problem, but it's not like some did get practice and some didn't, so it's not really too much of a problem, but it's when the knockout stages came about it was a problem. Problem, problem, said problem a lot then, didn't it? But yeah, like I said, my first event, many expected me to flap all three matches, but it turned out that I won my first two matches, which guaranteed qualification, and then the problem arised. Now, if I beat Marlott and Gwigsy wins, then Gwigsy goes through. However, if me and Marlott draw, then we both just go through. So, me and Marlott finished, I think it was nil-nil with, like, two shots. It's just always going to happen. So, yeah, I did top the group, and after that, we went back to the players' bit and watched the other four groups play, and let... The drama commenced. The group of death, some would say, with Gorilla a well-deserved favourite, Aggie a world champion for PSG, and Rocky who's won like everything this year. I mean, I was looking through Twitter like as they was playing and the expectation on Gorilla is just so high. I don't think people realise that in a best of one with the quality on offer, literally anyone can get grouped and anyone can win it, that's just how it is. But yeah, amazingly, the group of death ended with Bullock stealing the show, topping the group, Rocky in second, and to everyone's absolute shock, Gorilla and Aggie went out in the group. So this was my problem now, it was just the length of the break. We had been waiting like two or so hours and we just had to go straight in and play someone who's obviously just been playing amazing and they can just go like straight through and carry on how they were playing. I also had to have like my first painkillers dose of the day about 10 minutes before this game, so... You know, get the excuses in, bit light-headed. But yeah, um, we get into the match and Rocky was about 3-0 up in 20 minutes. He killed me. I did get to grips with the game, but it was just too late. It finished 4-2, should have been a bit closer, but I mean, he deserved it 100%. This was a double elimination format, so I then went to the loser's bracket. Still had a chance of winning it. I beat Richie 2-0, and honestly, I mean, I just couldn't finish for the whole tournament, so... Not sure I'm the one to look at for these finishing tips anymore. But yeah, I then went on to play Razier, Monaco's player, for a place in Berlin and I just bottled it, frankly. I mean, I missed so many one-on-ones. There was one when I was through. I basically, you just finesse it. You just finesse it and it's in. And I tried to square it to Ronaldo, who was about with a corner flag, so I have no idea what I was doing. But yeah, I had a free kick. Like, one of them free kicks were you always go short and try and make your way in the box. And for some reason, I crossed it. No idea why. Won the header, bit silly on my part, countered, glitched through my player and won 1-0, so, you know, not bitter. No, no, he did deserve it, he definitely deserved it. I just couldn't pick myself up after that break I had and I only have myself to blame for that, it's no one else's fault. But yeah, anyway, considering my run consisted of playing three of the eventual top four and the amount of big names I finished above in my first ever tournament, I mean, I do have to look as fifth as a big achievement, but... It's just not me. I don't think anyone can ever think, like, fifth is good. 
But, you know, I definitely won't get too down about it. It was a great performance in my first tournament, and there's lots more to look forward to. But, more importantly than all of that, Hashtag United and Tass obviously ended up winning the whole thing, which softened my disappointment completely. I was absolutely buzzing for the team and Tass. It did absolutely amazing. It capped off a fantastic weekend, and hopefully we can continue the success. Can you believe Tass didn't buy me a drink after he won 30 grand, by the way? Also, I've got to say an absolutely massive thanks to Spencer for... Well, everything. Seb was great during the weekend as well, fulfilling all my thirst and hunger desires, and of course, to EA for once. Wait, that says foot champions, don't even say EA. Oh, there we go. Oh, also, I played 4 3 1 2 this week, so not my usual 4 1 2 1 2, but it's pretty similar. The custom tactics I brought out were just for my bronze team, by the way. I used different ones with this, and I'm bringing out an in-depth custom tactics and player instructions video for the only formations I would ever use on the game and I always stick by, which are... I think 4312, 4121, 4231, 4321, 3421, 3421 and 5212. I'll quickly show my camera settings too as I've never shown them, I don't think. So there we are. What a finish to the very first World Cup qualifier month in which only the top five qualify for a member. So this was a massive, massive weekend. I've actually already done my... Belgium foot champs, by the way, which after my pack opening and the amount of Belgium in forms now is so, so annoying. But if you want me to do any specific nation, just comment below and I'll try and go with the most popular choice. Because I'm going to try and make it like a little series. My month rewards have been opened and recorded. One legend, 44 in forms. So subscribe for them, leave a like if you've enjoyed it. And until next time, don't forget to hashtag it.